Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today, somebody emailed me and they were trying to make a cake topper. And they were having trouble because the inner parts of the letter, and they because they'd watched one of my videos and the inner parts of the letter were falling out. So you control K, which is break things apart. And if it's a text, it breaks the text apart. And control Q, which is convert to curves. You have to do those two steps in this order. Control K first and control Q second. So I've just typed out a text. And it's a good text because uh, it's already joined together. The letters are already joined together. Uh, I don't know that I'd use it for a cake topper, but it'll, for the video it works. So I'm going to left click, no fill, right click, hairline. And this is where the control K comes into part first. So you go control K and then it breaks up each word. But you need to go, can, well, in this particular case, you don't have to because the letters are already joined together. If they're not joined together, you have to go control K again. And then, it, and then you can move each individual letter around. But since these letters are already done, then you can select them all and go control Q, which converts them to a curve, which allows them to be welded. Let's back up here. When I've got these selected, my weld is gone. But when I go Control Q, which is also under Object, and convert to curves right there. So it's converting to a curve. Now, my suggestion would be to go ahead and weld this together. See if you like it. Weld this letter together. These. So Control Q. Control K first to break it apart. Now, let's see what happens when we weld. See what happened? I didn't control Q it. I didn't do it in the right order. So let's back up here. Get it. See, it's already a curve. I must accidentally hit it. So now we're back to artistic text. So control K. Then you can select all this, control Q to convert it to a curve, and then you can weld it. That was a good good exercise because you could see what's happening. Now this is four objects. So control Q and make it a curve, and then you can weld it. You can always weld and then re-weld because uh, it won't change that interior. So then you just barely want these touching, and then you could weld this and what I like doing is hit P and put it in the center of the page just so you've got an idea of your balance of your object and then just take your rectangle tool whoop, take your rectangle tool and just draw your rectangle and I would suggest at least a quarter of an inch to give it some thing that's 0.28 so that's close enough then I would go ahead and round this off with your corner radius. And if you'll watch right, right here, when you don't know what the number is, see these two nodes? So when you round these off, those two nodes will become one node. And then it's and actually no nodes, and it actually makes it perfectly round. And then hit P, and that kind of gives you your weight, uh, you know, so it'll be even. And I actually think it's a little bit too thick because it's thicker than the letter. So I'm going to go 0.25, change it up a little bit. Now start moving it, but hold down the control button. And it's going to put it in the center. But you don't want it off that P. And in this particular case, uh, this is only 4 inches. So a normal cake topper would be a little bit bigger. Because you do not want that P to be any bigger than the... Uh, letter itself or the stem itself. For the video, I'm going to go ahead and make it wider and hit P again, holding down the control button as I move. And that doesn't look half bad, but you could nudge it over. I got my nudge factor set a little bit high, 0 0.001, and you can nudge this quite a bit over. 
that looks okay. Then select it all and weld that. And then there is your cake topper. To, now that you would cut out, but if you want to see what it looks like, it's always easy to put it in, in some color into it. I don't like that. That's too thick. Um, you know, that's why you can just back up, make this stem a little bit narrower. Uh, oh, it went to 4-4, four, four, no wonder. And see, I had my ratio lot. We wanted at least 12 inches long, I would think, for a cake topper. You really wanted to get inside that P. That looks really good. Let's zoom in here. Select everything. And then weld it. And then, of course, put your color back. So to just kind of clarify that, let's do uh, two O's of any text. And let's uh, left click, no fill, right click. Now, if you would, con let's make a copy of that. Control D and make a duplicate of that. So now this time we're going to convert it to a curve and this is what this person was doing. They were converting it to a curve first and then they were basically just nudging it over till they touched. Control K, bring it apart and then just nudge it over till they touch. Holding down the shift key, it'll, your nudge will go a little bit faster. My computer is a little slow today and I'm not, you see what's happening? I'm not moving my uh, inner part so let's get that back and here I'm going past the so there it's back see I didn't move my inner part again select them all get them to nudge now weld this and see what happens your inner part goes through it goes away so you need to go control K first and then control Q, which breaks it to a curve. And then just nudge this one over. And now when you weld it, that center part will stay. So there was a the problem they were having. So control K first, and then control Q, which convert the curve. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.